Hey, welcome back to Sight Tech Intermountain training videos. In this video today, we are going to cover the basics of the new Trimble TDL 510 radio. The functionality that it has, the different antenna options, and how to set it up as a repeater in this video. So the TDL 510 radio comes with the short ducky antenna on top here with the two different colors here for 900 and 450 megahertz. It also comes with the big whip antenna like this that can actually be set up and actually screwed on to the dog bone. So it has a dog bone option with uh, quite a bit of antenna cable right here. So those are the two different antenna options. The basics of this radio itself, we're gonna go through right now. Um, I'll show you all the different menus that it has in here and we will actually set this up just as a repeater here in the office and then go out in the field and test it. So I just want everybody to be really familiar with what these lights mean right here. Uh, we'll explain that just in a second after we go through the menu. Um, what you need to look for here and how to set this up properly on here. It's really, really basic, especially if you're just going to use it as a simple repeater. Um, so the escape button here will light it back up. You've got your arrows and then the enter button. So going right down the top right here, right now the voltage, because we're plugged into a, a wall source here. Um, this icon right here um, looks kind of like a cell tower. Is actually gonna give us the radio um, bars, if you will. It'll give us up to three different bars, kind of radio signal when it's repeating. So going right down through these. So right here for radio status, what we can do is hit the enter button and go in there. And here is where the RSSI number is. That one is obviously way high, a minus 127. With this repeater, the higher the number, not good. The lower, the better. It's kind of backwards if you're used to using the older Trimble um, repeaters. Um, we'll show that once we actually connect to the base. And then the region code, we can set that to US. And then there's a restore factory. So nothing else we need to actually change in here. So I'm going to escape out of that. And we're going to go down one to the wireless settings. So in wireless settings, here is where we're going to just go right down through this menu and set it. So radio mode has the option to show you here between base, repeater one, repeater two, rover, repeater three, and four. So you can have up to four of these set up in a line to repeat a long distance down a long road or up a canyon, whatever it may be. The base option doesn't mean that this will be a base, but it can be plugged in through Limo port. It can be plugged into one of our bases and actually broadcast out CMRX or plus from a base. Uh, it can also do that from a third party radio um, to take their corrections and put it into corrections for our, our equipment and rovers. Um, in this case, we're just gonna leave that as a repeater one right now, and then I'm gonna hit enter. Then the next one is, okay, now that it's on a repeater, let's set the network that I wanna repeat. So we're gonna go in here and you can see that that's on eight and it's got this little tiny arrow underneath. So all you do is simply key up that one to go up to what you want. For example, one, two, three. I'm gonna come down and put that on a one, and then I'm gonna hit the enter button to move that over. So now I'm over to the eight. Now I'm gonna drop that down to a zero. Pretty basic, but ne there we go. So network 10, that's the one here at this building we're gonna broadcast. Once I'm ready, go ahead and hit this enter button, which is the set right there. So we're gonna set that and now it's on that radio channel. So you can see if you go in, you can hit, hit, and then that. So now we're gonna back out, and then the frequency band, we're not gonna worry too much about that in general because most people are running the 900 megahertz, so we're gonna leave that on the 900 there. If it wasn't, just put it on it and then hit set. So that's the end of this, this menu, if you will, right here. Now, in order to actually set those permanently, you hit the exit button, escape, exit, and it'll ask you, do you want to save those settings? And you say yes. So now those settings are saved. So just a couple more in here. If you go down after we, we've already done wireless settings, let's go to port settings. We don't need to change anything in here for what we're doing as a repeater right now, but I want to show you there's the option to change between the serial port, turn on the data off, um, M, or NFS. We're not worried about any of that, but that's what's in there. Same thing on this baud rate. If we needed to actually change that, if we were broadcasting out of a base, that's what's in this menu, the, the eight data bits and the parity. So as a repeater, you don't need to worry about anything in here. 
And then on the device, if you go down one and hit enter, that's just basically the device name. It's a TDL 510. So as a repeater, only worry about radio status once it's working, wireless settings, and port settings. What you will notice though is right now I did get one bar that popped up up there because as soon as I set that to channel 10, it started picking up our base. Our base is actually outside the building, so it's going to be kind of weak. But note down here the the buttons right, or excuse me, the lights. As soon as we hit that and it started picking up corrections, it's got the RD and the CD that are flashing. So it is it is receiving and transmitting that signal. So back up here at the top though. Now I've got two bars, and I'm going to show you. If you go to the radio status and hit enter, you can start watching that RSSI number. You can see that it's kind of dropping. It's still in the 80s to 90s, which isn't great we, because we're bouncing between one and two bars. And that's what I'm going to show you now as we go out in the field and actually set up the base, turn it on right by the base, and then I'm going to go out about a mile and see what it starts doing. But... That's pretty basic, all you need to worry about. And then also the radio and RSSI as you get further away from the base, it's, a, it's kind of a game of putting it where it needs to be. But not too hard to get set up and uh, get going, but just remember what antenna you got on when you're outside, so. So with the TDL 510, I've came out here and I've set up our R750 base. Our R750 base is out here with the high output or high gain antenna and we are broadcasting channel 10. It's pretty wide open here. We're going to go ahead and uh, set up the radio right now. As you can see, I've got the external antenna, also the high gain, high output antenna for the uh, TDL 510. So I jumped in my truck here just so that I could actually see the uh, the screen here is a little bright outside. We can see that we got the three bars right there, so we're full strength. And then for the radio, uh, status, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and there's my RSSI number. We are at minus 30, which obviously, yes, I'm right by the base, and they're both kind of screaming each other, if you will, but there is minus 32 and three bars. Now what I'm going to do is start driving down the road, go out about a mile, and then maybe go out two miles, and we'll see what we got on this. So this is about a mile out. Uh, the base is out there by those silos got my antenna on this is about one mile out i still have three bars i got the uh, rd flashing down here but my rssi is climbing quite a bit the rs uh, right here rssi is about 71 72 so it's not going to be quite as strong as it was obviously but at this point it will continue to keep broadcasting on beyond this Thanks for watching this video from Sight Tech Inner Mountain on the new TDL 510 radio, set up as a repeater one.